Knack of femur fractures are a relatively common and a very important type of fracture to understand because it is associated with a great degree of morbidity and even mortality, especially in elderly patients. And the way that the fracture is managed is uh, very much dependent on uh, the anatomy of the head and neck of the femur and also the nature of the fracture itself. So we're just going to go through a little recap of neck of femur anatomy and the most important thing to understand about the neck of the femur is how the blood supply works. So here we have the deep femoral artery which is the main branch of the femoral artery and it gives rise to two branches which wrap around the femur which are the medial and lateral circumflex femoral arteries. These then give rise to retinacular arteries which sort of progress um, superiorly up towards the head of the femur. So the key point to recognize about this arrangement is that the blood supply is a sort of a retrograde blood supply in the sense that it comes from distal to proximal, unlike most other blood supplies in the body. There is also a relatively small amount of blood that goes through the artery of the ligamentum teres, but that's actually quite a minor component of uh, the perfusion of the head and neck of the femur. The other anatomical structure that's important to bear in mind when it comes to neck of femur fractures is the joint capsule, so the ligaments that surround uh, the, f the head of the femur and the acetabulum. So the joint capsule kind of acts as a landmark which helps determine whether the blood supply um, to a certain fracture is likely to be compromised or not. So in general, if a fracture has happened within the joint capsule, we tend to um, associate that with a high risk of, uh, of the blood supply being compromised because all of the retinacular vessels get sheared. If the fracture is outside the joint capsule and it's a little bit further down the femur, then there is less of a risk of uh, the blood supply being compromised. So that's another key point to bear in mind about neck of femur anatomy. Thank you.